Hey, players. So it's looking like Councilman Eric Mays won't be laid to rest anytime soon. His son has filed another lawsuit. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat. Let's get into it. So as we know, on February 24th, Flint, Michigan's Councilman Eric Mays unfortunately passed away. Now, last week, there was an announcement stating that his homegoing service would be this weekend. But earlier this week, his son, Eric Mays, filed a lawsuit to halt those services, and he was actually successful. Um, the judge did uh, did put a stop to the services that were going to take place this weekend, and he also um, said that the funeral home, well, he ordered the funeral home to allow Eric May's son to be able to view the body at that funeral home. Now, um, there was supposed to be a hearing on, on this situation today. However, it was, uh, rescheduled for Monday, March 11th. So that means that Councilman Mays won't be laid to rest this weekend. But now there's more going on. Eric May's son, Eric, has officially filed a lawsuit against Flint City officials over the life insurance policy. Oh, yes, 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 honey, it's true. Eric is accusing Flint City officials of refusing to hand over Eric May's life insurance policy. The lawsuit alleges that Flint City attorney William Kim and Flint Human Resources Director Ed Smith has refused to provide Eric Deontay Mays the only next of kin of Councilman Mays with a copy of the city of Flint's insurance policy. The suit alleges that Eric understands that he is named beneficiary of the insurance policy and it alleges the actions of the human resources director and the city attorney were based on the mayor Sheldon Neely's actions and instructions. So Eric is requesting that the insurance policy be returned to him within 48 hours in addition to filing the following counts to all three defendants. He's seeking injunctive relief, intentional infliction of emotional distress, unjust enrichment, conversion, and breach of contract. Now, Eric is being represented by the Lento Law Firm, and they have issued the following statement on his behalf. We brought this action to remedy a terrible injustice that the city of Flint alleged upon orders of the city attorney and at the direction of the mayor is inflicting upon our client, Eric Hakeem Deontay Mays, the biological son and the only next of kin to the late councilman, Eric Mays. The city is wrongfully denying Mr. Mays access to the uh, life insurance policy. Oh, this is really ridiculous and a hot boo boo shitty mess. So again, a hearing has been scheduled for March 11th to determine who is supposed to be in possession of the remains to make the funeral arrangements and things. And uh, Eric Mays has filed this lawsuit against the city, giving them 48 hours to turn over the insurance policy. Again, I've heard that the insurance policy could be anywhere from 500000 to a $1 million. I'm not sure how that works um, regarding that, but I guess we'll see because if he is the beneficiary, they're going to have to turn over their policy. There is absolutely no way they can backpedal and pussy pop out of that. And I'm just wondering what would be their reasoning for not turning over the policy. Um, I remember years ago when they was talking about Walmart uh, having uh, life insurance policies on all of their employees, including employees that weren't employed there anymore. They would never terminate the uh, life insurance policies, allegedly wouldn't terminate those life insurance policies. So Walmart would collect after those people passed away. So I don't know if Flint is up to no good when it comes down to that or what they're trying to do, but baby, Eric Mays, and I'm gonna call him Junior. Uh, he is definitely not uh, one to be played with. He ain't gonna take it lying down. Looks like he's just like his daddy. All right, players, uh, put your thoughts in the comments. Y'all know my opinion is not the only one that matters. I want to hear yours. What do you think about this? Put it in the comments. This is Double D Mother for the Black Accurate News.